Alright, this next one comes from Top 5 Unknowns. This is 5 Worst YouTube Scandals Ever, and judging by the thumbnail, React World is going to be number 1. I mean, we all know that React World was going to be shit. They claim that they're going to try to help us and shit by trademarking the word React. They want to, they want us to, or they want it, excuse me, past tense. They wanted us to share revenue with them. How the fuck am I going to share revenue with you? I, I, I think it was what, 50%? Are you fucking serious? But when you monetize the videos, and it depends on if you, you know, partner with the MCN or not. Um, MCM, MCM, MCN is a YouTube partnership. YouTube, when you get paid, YouTube takes 40% up front. You know what I'm saying? And when you partner up with an MCN, it depends on, you know, it depends on the take. You know what I'm saying? I'm partnering up with VOU Studios. So it's 60-20. I take 60%. They take 20. You know what I'm saying? And if I was to sign a contract with React World, with them, it's 60-50. You take 60%, they take 50, YouTube takes 40. So for real, for real, you ain't getting shit. That's fucked up. That's some that's some shit I, I would expect my shit to do. And they've been doing that. I mean, a three-year lock-in? Fuck no. All I got to say is, thank God that MCN is only for bigger channels. You know, channels is, you know, over 100,000 subscribers. That's what that MCN is for. I mean, god damn. But anyway, let's see how this plays out. Let go. For the most part, YouTube is a great place for content providers such as ourselves to share our videos with the world. However, sometimes with YouTubers, they either make bad decisions or controversial videos which lead to a viral scandal to break. In this video, we will take a look at some of the popular YouTube scandals that have broke over the years. Number 5. Sam and Nia Ashley Madison Scandal Sam and Nia are YouTubers who currently have 400,000 subscribers. They began to upload in 2007 but only started to gain popularity over the past year. The couple started to receive a large amount of subscribers in August of 2015. This was after they released a video in which Sam shocks Nia with a pregnancy announcement. The video went viral and subscribers started to come in fast. As of now, the video has 16 million views. Just three days after uploading the pregnancy announcement, they uploaded a video titled, Our Baby Had a Heartbeat. In the video, they explained that they lost their baby due to a miscarriage. This led to many people making accusations, claiming that the pregnancy announcement was fake and was purely for views. People believed this, as a day after the miscarriage video, they had uploaded a video in which Sam explained that he was able to quit his job because of their YouTube success. This led to Sam making a statement saying the pregnancy was staged by God himself. In late August 2015, they were kicked out of vlog affair after someone confronted them about the situation. However, this wasn't the scandal. Admissed of all of this, it was revealed that Sam was signed up to a controversial website called Ashley Madison. Ashley Madison is a website in which people sign up if they are looking to have an affair and Ashley cheat on their Madison. spouse. After client's the information the was released linked to the me? site, it showed that Sam was yeah. signed up to the site. He made a statement about it, saying that it was simply sinful curiosity and that he wasn't planning to cheat on his wife. As of today, Nia is pregnant and they're expecting a child soon. Number 4 FoosyTube vs Danny Duncan FoosyTube is a YouTube prankster. Real name Youssef, his popularity started to grow in 2014. Your As name of is now, Yusuf? he has 8 Yusuf million <laughs> subscribers. There has always been speculation that his pranks were staged. In late 2015, a YouTuber by the name of Danny Duncan claimed that he could prove this and could expose Fousey. Danny uploaded a video in which he spoke to an actor who claimed that he found an ad on Craigslist which offered $30 to star in a video for 30 minutes. Once he answered the ad, he went to the filming location and was told that he was going to star in a prank. This prank ended up being FouseyTube's uber prank. In this prank, Fousey jumps in supposed random people's cars and pretends that they're an Uber driver. The actor in the video by the name of Shane claimed that they improvised the scene once, then filmed it. After this scandal broke, 
people started labeling Fousey names, such as Fakey Tube. Number three. Ray William Johnson leaves makeup. This wasn't too much of a scandal, but it went viral once it broke. Ray William Johnson was probably the most popular YouTuber in the world ah, for many years. He made videos for his show with Equals 3. In the show, he reviewed viral videos. His popularity started to grow in 2009, and since then, he has gained millions of subscribers. As of today, he has more than 10 million subscribers. In 2011, he decided to partner with Maker Studios. Maker Studios is a YouTube network. What networks do is help out content providers by promotion and providing them with tools to help their channel grow. They do this all while taking a certain percentage of the money made by the channel's AdSense. While with Maker Studios, Ray worked on a project called Your Favourite Martian. This was an animated comedy band that became very popular. In October of 2012, during an episode of the show, Ray announced that he would be leaving Maker Studios. Ray stated that he was leaving Maker because the company were pushing him into signing a contract which gave Maker a 40% share of his channel's revenue and 50% of his show's intellectual property rights. Ray That's stated that Maker were using thuggish tactics to pressure That's him into signing a contract. Ray himself stated that Maker stopped production for the show as a tactic. Due to frustrations, Ray had claimed that the CEO of Maker, by the name of Danny Zappin, had told Ray that he was a convicted felon while they were drunk. This led to Danny admitting that he was once convicted for felony drug possession. After a lengthy battle, Ray left Maker Studios. As of today, Ray stopped hosting the show, but the show continues and has been hosted by many different people since Ray left. Number 2. Fine Bros. The Fine Bros. Real name Raffi and Benny Fine. They originally started uploading sketches in 2007, but in 2010, they launched their first reaction series called Kids React. The series went viral and led to them creating more. They now have Teens React, Elders React, YouTubers React, and also have a separate channel titled React. Their main channel has 13 million subscribers and the React channel has 5 million subscribers. In late January 2016, they had uploaded a video in which they explained a new project they had been working on called React World. To sum it up, they explained that they had trademarked reaction videos. They claimed that they done this in order to help reaction video creators. The objective of React World was to bring reaction creators together under one channel. With this, the creators would be given certain helpful tools and techniques to help create their videos and promote them. But along with this, they would share their revenue with the fine bros once they uploaded their videos. After they announced this, they received a lot of negative feedback as people believe that they should not be able to trademark reaction videos just because they were successful with them. This is because there are many other YouTube channels out there that create reaction videos. The original video was met with many dislikes and future uploads not linked to the situation were also met with dislikes. Along with this, they lost 100,000 subscribers in one day. As of today, people do live streams counting down the Fine Bros subscriber count as it continues to fall. After receiving the criticism, the Fine Bros decided not to continue with the idea and abandon it. They made a statement saying, they apologize for building a system that could easily be used for wrong. Number one, Sam Pepper. Sam is a British YouTuber. He began to upload in 2010. He uploads a selection of videos, but mainly uploads pranks. He came under scrutiny in 2014 after uploading a prank video in which he was said to sexually assault several women. In the video, he wore a hoodie with the arms tucked into the pockets, oh, yeah, but he had one arm this. free. He would then ask females for directions and pinch their behinds with a free hand. The video went viral, but received much negative feedback. The video was then removed from YouTube. Sam claimed that the video was simply a social experiment and the girls were in on it. Oh, After the spotlight was put on Sam, many girls came forward and claimed sexual assault charges. One woman came forward and claimed that in 2013, while Sam was visiting Toronto, he allegedly attempted to rape like the woman. Another girl came forward who claimed that when she was 15 <laughs> and Sam was 22, he allegedly tried to get her to send nude photos of herself. She released screenshots of Facebook messages sent between the two. Due to the claim, Sam was banned from many YouTuber events and was also considering quitting YouTube. In December of 2015, he decided not to quit YouTube and has started uploading on a regular basis. However, he has removed the video ratings and for the most part receives hateful comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep updated with our videos. Goodbye. Damn, I, I thought uh, React World was going to end up being number one, but shit. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up like a kind of mouse. See y'all in the next video. Bye.